The undergrounded city built in Greenland is the U.S. ice city. Abandoned ice city is the creation of invasion of the U.S. Army that is known as the story of camp centuries. The intention of the Cold War is to develop a hidden city that can work on nuclear warheads. Now, after decades space is crashed due to the disadvantages of habitation. The destruction of the camp still has the remaining city built under the city of Greenland. Technically the city was designed with structures that can exist for 10 years without maintenance. Building of U.S. Ice City and Greenland In 1959, the initiative was taken to build Camp Century, it was the Arctic subsurface camp that was an innovative construction. The digging and cutting of the underneath ice, developing the spaces with cover trenches extended to the length of 1,100 feet or 330 meters. Trenches were strengthened with steel arches enabling increasing the stability and lifespan. Apart from the inbuilt trenches for developing the space habitable the drainage line was essential. But due to the snowfalls and cutting of ice had made it an issue for habitation. Later in 1962, the problem of sewer lines was reduced with the pulling of the water wastes to 52 feet. It provided relief to the camps. At the beginning of the U.S., Ice City had to tolerate the sewer problems for almost one and a half years. Though, the present situation of the melting ice ensures that the abandoned city will still remain in the future. The city considered as the base camp had all necessary neighborhood elements. Theaters, shops, and barbershops, but the space was facing hygienic issues due to the lack of proper planning and design. In the camp century, Ice City had the backup of portable nuclear reactors, they were the first inventor and users. Another major issue that roused with it is the exposure of heat that led to an increase in the melting of ice apart from producing electricity. The major reason to abandon Greenland under city camp. Due to lack of ventilation, it had become difficult for the military to survive difficultly. The slow development of the underneath city turned practical for survival in 1965. On other hand, the technical changes offered visibility for nuclear power. Altogether effective for future is still the only camp century built in history. Space was declared as the scientific research station, it was a secret mission that had structure and planning of nuclear war provision. Later the camp space was left in 1966, after giving up on the military attacks. After several decades, the space still remains stable with the ice-melted water signifies or entering to the maximum of 1.1 meters. But according to research in 2016, it is assumed that if the ice melting intensifies it has the ability to release nuclear waste that includes diesel fuel of 200,000 liters. The Greenland ice city was built to spread its power with the atomic invasions. The Defense of Greenland Agreement Despite its name, Greenland is largely a frigid and sparsely inhabited place under the umbrella of the Kingdom of Denmark. While it's not the sort of place that attracts a lot of full-time residents, one of the most crucial things for any military base is its location. You might not want to live there, but Greenland's position in the Atlantic makes it a strategically valuable staging ground. So much so that, in 1946, the United States made an offer to buy Greenland straight up in exchange for $100 million in gold, about $1.5 billion today, and access to Alaskan oil. That offer was rejected, but the U.S. found other ways to use Greenland for military operations. In 1951, the United States signed on to a Defense of Greenland Agreement, which allowed NATO members to utilize Greenland for military operations, including the construction of bases and other installations. Over the following decade, the United States built three military bases, two of which have since been abandoned. Only the base originally called Thule, pronounced Thule, Air Base remains in operation today. In recent years, the base was renamed Patuffik Space Base, and it remains the U.S. northmost military installation, standing less than 1,000 miles from the North Pole. The Underground Nuclear City during the 17 months of construction, Army engineers dug out 21 steel-covered trenches spanning nearly 2 miles in total. The longest single trench, commonly referred to as Main Street, ran more than 1,100 feet from one end to another. 
Main Street was as good a name as any because the trenches served as streets or thoroughfares within which prefabricated buildings were placed. Once construction of the initial camp was completed, the city permanently housed up to 200 people, providing everything they might need for a long-term stay. The trenches of Camp Century housed dormitories, a kitchen and eating areas, a hospital, laundry services, communication stations, latrines and showers, a theater and a library, a hospital with an operating room, a barbershop, and more. Inside one of the trenches, engineers drilled a tunnel into the ice, creating a well that melted ice into fresh water and delivered it 500 feet to the surface. The only other thing they needed was energy, and they got that from a specially built nuclear reactor.